Dear students, in this module, we shall discuss the neurotransmitters involved in slow and indirect transmission. There are two classes of such neurotransmitters. The first class includes the biogenic amines and the second class includes neuropeptides. First, we shall discuss the biogenic amines. Biogenic amines act indirectly through second messenger pathways and produce slow synaptic responses. They include catecholamines, that is epinephrine and norepinephrine, and dopamine. They also include serotonin and histamine. We shall discuss the role of norepinephrine and epinephrine in detail. The neurons which release these hormones are neurotransmitters are called adrenergic neurons. Norepinephrine is the primary excitatory neurotransmitter in post-ganglionic cells of sympathetic nervous system, while epinephrine is excitatory at some synapses and inhibitory at others depending on the characteristics of post-synaptic membrane. Both these neurotransmitters are also released by the chromaffin tissue of uh, vertebrate adenal medulla. Both these neurotransmitters are structurally very similar, having difference only on one methyl group. They also have similar pharmacological characteristics. Dear students, the norepinephrine is synthesized from amino acid phenylalanine. Dear students, एक neurotransmitter जब release हो जाता है, तो उसके बाद उसको उसके function को stop करने के लिए उसकी inactivation भी जरूरी होती है. Norepinephrine is inactivated through two ways. In the first method, it is taken up by the cytoplasm of the presynaptic cell, यानी जिस cell ने उसे रिलीज किया है वो इसे रीअब्सॉर्ब कर लेता है और वहां पर इस नॉर एपिनेफ्रीन को रीपैकेज कर लिया जाता है और फिर दोबारा जब जरूरत हो रिलीज कर दिया जाता है दूसरा तरीका प्री सिनैप्टिक सेल जब टेक अप कर लेता है नॉर एपिनेफ्रीन को तो इसके बाद एक एंजाइम मोनो अमाइन ऑक्सीडेज इसे ब्रेक कर ब्रेक कर देता है in another method, जो synaptic cleft है, उसमें norepinephrine की methylation कर दी जाती है, और इस तरह से इसकी inactivation हो जाती है. Dear students, there are certain psychoactive drugs which resemble in structure to the biogenic amines and also act at the same synapses at which these neurotransmitters bind. Asi drugs ko hum analogs kehte hain. For example, mescaline, ek biogenic amine ka analog hai, that is a drug that induces hallucinations. It interferes with the norepinephrine at synapses in the central nervous system. Another biogenic amine analog is amphetamine. It is very potent central nervous system stimulant. It mimics norepinephrine and it interacts with the adrenergic neurotransmission. 
another biogenic amine analog is cocaine. It interferes with the inactivation of norepinephrine. Jab norepinephrine inactivate nahi hoti, to aise mein iska asar continuously rehta hai. Or nati jaye ke ye neurotransmission musal sal jari rehti hai. Now we shall discuss the neuropeptides, the second group involved in slow and indirect neurotransmission. There are about 40 or more neuropeptides involved in neurotransmission. They are synthesized and released in vertebrate central nervous system. Some neuropeptides are also produced outside the central nervous system by non-neural tissues. For example, intestinal endocrine cells bhi kuch neuropeptides produce karte hain, kuch autonomic neurons produce karte hain, aur kuch sensory neurons bhi neuropeptides produce karte hain. In mein se bohut sare neuropeptides aise bhi hain, jo ke invertebrates ke nervous system mein bhi paaye jate hain. Neuropeptides ki kuch examples hum lenge, Many hypothalamic and pituitary gland uh, pep, uh, hormones are neuropeptides. Similarly, gastrointestinal hormones, glucagon, insulin, gastrin, and uh, cholecystokinin are also peptides. Similarly, substance P and endorphins and encephalins are also examples. The neuropeptides are released in three ways as a neurotransmitter, as a neurosecretory substance, and as a hormone. Ek peptide, jab ek neuron isse secrete karta hai, aur ye dousse neurons par hi act karta hai. So this is known as its role as neurotransmitter. Lekin, jab एक इसी तरह का न्यूरोपेप्टाइड सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम में रिलीज कर दिया जाता है लेकिन जाके दूसरे न्यूरॉन्स को ही इफेक्ट करता है तो सच ए सब्सटेंस इज कॉल्ड न्यूरोसिक्रेटरी जबकि अगर एंडोक्राइन टिश्यूज या एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड्स ऐसे सब्सटेंस को रिलीज करते हैं और जाके ये सब्सटेंस नॉन न्यूरल टिश्यूज को इफेक्ट करता है तो दैट इज कॉल्ड ए पेप्टाइड हार्मोन Neuropeptides are more potent neurotransmitters than small neurotransmitters. This is due to the reason that they bind in very low concentrations. They are active at 10 raised to power 9 molar as compared to 10 raised to power minus 5 molar of other substances. The second reason is that they act through second messenger pathways that provide amplification. So, a small amount can produce large effect. The third reason of their effectiveness is that they, their actions are terminated very slowly. So, they remain available for long time to the receptors.